The volcano erupting on the Spanish island of La Palma has blown open a new fissure, sending more lava streaming across the island. Authorities are monitoring air quality along the shoreline where lava has reached the Atlantic Ocean. The Spanish government has committed to rebuilding the island and is providing millions to help people who have lost houses and livelihoods. Only weeks ago, Los Llanos was an idyllic town, popular with tourists who come to La Palma Island. Now it's covered in toxic black ash, forcing its residents to wear goggles and masks while they sweep away the debris. Last night, the ash irritated my eyes a lot. I had to use a serum and my skin feels very itchy. The eruption of Cumbre Vieja has plunged the island into chaos. It's a catastrophe. Today the world's media are here, but we are facing long-term ruin. Los Llanos has turned black, and it will stay black for years to come. There was hope the worst was over, but authorities say the volcano has become more active and the eruption more intense. A new vent has burst open on the side of the mountain, sending streams of lava down to the Atlantic Ocean. As the molten rock hits the water, toxic steam billows into the air. Officials warn that a change in wind direction could be a fresh hazard for those on the island. 6,000 people have been evacuated and hundreds of homes and businesses buried by the lava. Those farms that do survive are left to deal with the toxic ash. The Spanish government is putting together a multi-million euro aid package. We are here now in the prevention phase of the emergency. Be assured that we will stay for the reconstruction phase and we will continue to support people who have suffered serious losses. It's the first time the volcano has erupted in 50 years and experts say it could go on for weeks or even months. Well, DW correspondent Nicole Rees uh, joins us from one of the villages uh, threatened by the lava flows. Uh, welcome, Nicole. Um, we know that more than a thousand homes are being threatened by this lava. Uh, what's being done to save them? Well, Phil, it's mostly uh, damage control and monitoring the situation around the clock because at any time new people could be evacuated. Uh, we see behind me here very clearly uh, that there is this new um, stream coming down. It's supposed to already have destroyed some more buildings. Um, and we have actually smelled that. When we arrived here half an hour ago, there was really thick smoke and it really just smelled like burnt material. And I was being told by an expert here on the ground that this is probably coming from um, the lava burning everything that is in its way. Um, so it's quite difficult to control something like that. I mean, we're talking about lava that is 1000 degrees uh, hot and you can only make sure that people who are in these areas are in a safe place. And that's what authorities are doing here. They have been on top of their game really from the beginning on. So, so far nobody has been hurt, but obviously for the people who live in the surrounding area and close by, this is horrible. It's only like uh, a very small patch of the island. So the rest of the island is like, you know, day to day business. But anybody who lives beyond this, this very point uh, must be in a very, very um, difficult situation right now if they stayed in the area. Right. And many people have left, of, of course, just to, you know, not be stressed by it. But if you're confined over there right now, it's probably a very, very scary situation. Right. So we see houses behind you. Most of those will be empty, uh, uh, will they? And, uh, and, and people are, are just, just saving what they can. Well, people uh, leave their houses when they're being told to be uh, to be leaving. Um, for example, these first rows I see here, I see a dog that is sitting outside, so I assume that somebody is home. But beyond that point, around one kilometer in, obviously um, there's people staying at home, they're confined because of the heavy smokes and the gases that are being um, 
build if they want to leave they can of course but um, many would also probably wait if there's an official announcement I talked to a man earlier who stood here on this platform he said a friend of his had a house uh, very close into this area and with a new stream coming down um, this man said he's very sure that his friend will leave uh, will um, lose this house you know the closer you get you obviously the more prone you are not to be in there anymore Right. And, and this, this is just heartbreaking. It's interesting you say that this is confined to a small area of the island. While the rest of the island, life goes on as normal. Yeah, that's right. If you would move on into the different direction, we've been in Los Llanos, for example. You have a lot of ashes coming down, that's true. Uh, we were handed out free masks and also free goggles, so we have an extra pair now, to be honest. But uh, this was an initiative uh, from the local authorities. And uh, people there, you know, are not as close. So what they get is all the ashes. And if you go even further, probably you don't get that anymore. Um, we're talking about an 8% are a part of the island that is now in this situation but it will affect on all um, levels because there are already less tourists coming because of the volcano uh, fishermen out here will also have for a long time a very hard time because actually they can't catch fish because of the lava going into the water and obviously there's a lot of uh, banana cultivations in this area some of them have been partially burned today like some more and this is another economic uh, disaster for them but mostly it's the fear it's the stress for the residents here about what is going to happen because a volcano doesn't have a schedule it's it's not going to tell you like you know tomorrow i'm going to stop you'd have to monitor the situation as the scientists do keep the calm what, which is what they advise and just hope for the best really okay thank you for that stay safe dw correspondent nicole reese on la palma